Okay, we got 2012 Yamaha G29 golf cart. And it's got, last video we got the starter fix. Put new brushes in the starter. And that's working great. Now it's got a, now it's got a gas problem. It's not running real smooth. On a cold start it's kind of real sluggish. I'll show you real quick. I don't know if it's not getting enough gas or getting too much gas. We'll have to tear it down and see what's up. I've already pulled the top off and already got the filters out. So in order to get this box off, there's two 10 millimeter bolts right, right back here in the back. Okay, it's best to undo the, the back ones back here first. Okay, got them out. Now you got two 12 millimeters right down here by the carburetor. And it's pretty close, so you're probably not going to be able to use an extension. They're right down. They don't leave you much room to work on it here. But I've already got them loose. Let's see if I can grab them. There's one. I thought about getting these from the bottom side, but I don't know if it'd be any easier. Just don't give you no room to work on it. I think we got it. This thing is so dirty that I'm going to power wash it before I put it back on. Well, I dropped everything, so. Yeah, I'm going to power wash all this before I put it back on. It's pretty dirty. Sit that over there. And I'll drop my bolt, I'll drop my socket. Here's your carburetor here. Now I've heard of people losing their bolts on the front of their carburetor. This thing will be sitting here moving back and forth and it's amazing it even runs. Okay, there's the air box. Probably could use another air filter. It's not as clean as I thought it was. I don't know if that would wash out or not. Get another filter, spark plug, um, fuel filter. I gotta check and see if that fuel filter is any good. Might just go ahead and replace all of them. Okay, the gas comes in. See, here's your choke cable right here, right here on top, and it sits on top. Well, there's a line that's off right there. It goes onto the air box, and I didn't take it off. So, if that had anything to do with it. Huh. See, that clamp's already back, so it's... It's been off. So I gotta make sure that gets put back on. Okay, so I need a screwdriver. A 
He's got like little clips right down there. You got to pull out, pull these all. It's just a vacuum line here for the fuel pump. Okay, pull this screw out right here. Okay, I got this thing up here. You can see it better. Get a little, little needle nose. Get this piece right here taken off. And pull that choke cable out. Do the same thing with the throttle cable. Those little pins, you don't want to lose them. Okay, this is your choke cable up here. Take that little pin, pull it out. Stick it down here, don't lose it. Pull that pin out. Now that now you can do away with the that's the choke cable. Do the same thing over here with the throttle cable. Pull that little pin out. Push that one up. Take that off of there. Okay, this got the little keeper in it. Take a pull on it. Okay, the problem with this clip is kind of turned around there. Let's see if I can get it from the top side up here. There we got it. It's right there. There we go. Okay, now the only thing we've got left now is a fuel line. Then we'll have this carburetor off here. The needle nose. Gas line back a little bit. Okay, there's the carburetor. Don't want this gas to leak anywhere. Okay, we got the carburetor off the golf cart. That's a 2012 G29. That's what carburetor this is. So now we're going to take it apart. We'll get that camera over here closer so you can see better. What I have here is just the lid off of a Bondo, Bondo kit. Makes a pretty good, pretty good little area to clean your carburetors up with. Got a gallon of acetone here. And a fire extinguisher down below here, just in case. We don't want to go there, but you never know. I'm kind of anxious to get that bowl off there and see what it looks like. Okay, I'll get a little wrench here. I believe that's 12 millimeter. If you happen to have a wrench or socket handy. Skeeter's over here trying to eat me. Imagine most of the gas is already already gone out of here. Well, there's a little bit in there. Yeah, there's a little crud in there. And that can cause problems. Pretty dirty. 
Yeah, these carburetors are pretty cheap. If you if you're missing parts or something off of it, it might be better just to get another one. They're about twenty bucks on eBay. Have to get me a smaller screwdriver. Get a small screwdriver to pull that main jet out of there. Okay. That's the one that goes up here on the top of the carburetor. It's got a plugged hole in it, so I have to get some some kind of a wire. Bread tie works pretty good. Okay, I got a little little wire. I'll just get you a little strand of wire. Poke through there. Okay. Now I need to pull the float off. Had to get a lot of these just set in there, but this in here goes out that way. So we're gonna push on it. And pull it out. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to lift this off of here. Set that over there. Inspect all this. It all looks good. Everything looks good and clean. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Just tear it down and clean it up and put it all back together. Just got to be real careful. Just be careful what you're doing. And main thing is don't get in a hurry. Yeah, I don't want to mix the acetone, gasoline, everything all together. It's here. Hard to tell what I'd come up with. So I'll just spray this a little bit on there. Can't find my... This line don't fit on there. Be nice to have a tube on there that I can shoot through there. Okay, don't get these mixed up and where they go. See this in here. Of course, I think they're different thread sizes too, though. It'd be kind of hard to mix them up. Okay, that one's good. Rinse it out again. Now we got one over here on the side here. And that one looks good. It's all open in there. All that looks fine. We're gonna we're just gonna rinse this off a little bit. That's good and clean. Now I just 
I just lost my needle. Oh, there it is. Hang the needle back on there. I'll drop this back in there. Okay, now I got to stick the pin in there. Okay, now we got it in there. Probably should use a smaller needle nose if I had one. Just about got it. I'll have to open these up. Okay, you want about the same distance on both ends. So got that done. Make sure everything's good and clean. Now we'll get this cleaned up, this bowl. Okay, now we'll get this cleaned up good here. Inside. Looks good. Get that. Check your gasket again. There ain't nothing, no chunks or nothing in there. Set that on there. Need our screw. Tighten that down on there. Okay, there's our cleaned out carburetor. Okay, now we'll stick that thing on there and see how we did. I got it all soaking with super clean. Now it's time to power wash it off. Okay, now we got a super clean engine. That stuff works good. Okay. Before we go any further, we need to check for gas flow. I got that thing plugging off the, the fuel line. I'll get this little dish again. I turn on the key. Unplug this thing. We're gonna see how good a gas flow we have. Okay, we got the we probably need to pull this rag off of here. Okay, now we're gonna check for fuel flow. See if we got make sure the fuel pump and all that's working good. It's in neutral. 
and no belt, so I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. I'd say we've got good fuel flow. Filled all that up in no time. So now we can start putting the carburetor back on. And the first thing we want to put on is a fuel line. So I think my clip fell way down here. The fuel pump's right here. Okay, that's the, we put them in order the way we took them off. I better get rid of this gasoline before I dump it. We put the wire down in there. Wire down in here this way. It's like I ain't had my morning coffee. that on there we'll get one of these little things drop it down in there and put the boot cover back on it well let's put the e-clip on there first little e-clip that goes. Okay, that's on there. We're gonna get the choke wire. It goes up on top. Okay, we'll get the Other little pins in there. It is hot out here. So now I need this clip on here. Okay, now we're ready to slip that on there. Make sure you got your gasket on there, both sides here. Slip it on here. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to take off this choke wire. Don't have enough cord on that. Now we got it. Now we put the choke cable back on. If I did this every day, I'd already know that. Okay. Now we're ready for the air box. Need that line out of the way. Air box is all cleaned up. 
of water in it. Okay, I did order a uh, tune-up kit for this. Comes with a spark plug, air filter, and a fuel filter. So it'll be coming in a few days. Okay, I'm running out of time on my camera, so just put the rest of your bolts in on your air cover, air box, and then uh, and then I'll continue the video here in a minute with the new parts okay so now we're back and I got the parts in the mail got a spark plug air filter and a fuel filter these spark plugs are I, I got this in around 25 thousandths 25 to 28 thousandths and we'll get that put in the other one was a lot dirtier than I thought it was. It was actually, it don't look that bad on this side, but that side looks awful, awful oily looking. So we'll get that put in. Okay, this one comes with a little foam piece on it. And that piece lays down in there first. And that's so you can wash it out when it gets real dirty. Kind of helps protect this filter. Get that one sit all down in there again. Okay, and then I put the top on. Okay, now I'll go over on the other side. We'll put in a spark plug. Be right in that area. Okay, pop off the cover here. Okay, it don't look bad at all. But, we're going to go in for a new one. Going to put the new one in. And I set that 25 thousandths. 25 to 28 thousandths. Just to make sure you don't cross thread this thing. Just hand tighten it. You make sure you're not cross threading it. About the only thing I need to do on this now is tighten up the, the alternator belt. From one of the last videos, I didn't get that tightened up quite good enough. Still has a little bit of slop in it. We'll get that done. I'm going to do it. Going to take a test drive here in a little bit. See how this thing is going to do. Now right now we're not going to worry about the fuel filter because we just did a a flow test on it. We had good flow out of it. Okay, that's good on that. Put the put the spark plug cap back on there. Okay. So, I'll check the oil real quick. 
looks good. I'll probably change it this fall. Change the oil in it. I'll change it about once a year. I've got all the old parts off of it. Now I'll put the seat back on and we'll give it a test run. Okay, we'll see how this thing's gonna run. Stick this thing in neutral. Keys on. I'd say that's a whole lot better than what it was compared to the very first video first video of the tune-up that's a lot better than it was Okay, this thing's running good. Okay, that's going to do this video. This thing is running a whole lot better. Put brushes in the starter, one of the first video. Then we did a tune-up, put new filters in it, air filter, spark plug. Yeah, it's running a whole lot better. So thanks for watching.